Hi guys, so welcome to the Nigerian Pharmacy to channel. My name is Adewale. So today we have our stories here for the tomato uh, irrigation setup for the dry season. And this is a typical example of how you can set up your irrigation. So I'm going to be using some of the available cheap materials, some of the available materials that are cheap in my locality for this setup. So some people prefer to use lay flat for the irrigation, but I don't have money for lay flat now, so I have to go with this uh, one inch PVC pipe. So if you are using one inch PVC pipe, this is the type of valve that you need to. This is the type of valve that you need to buy for the one inch PVC pipe, and this is how the thing will look. So this is how it will look, and if you are using two inch pipe, so you will use something like this also. So, but if you are using lay flat, this type of uh, valve. This type of switch cannot work for it. So that's the number one thing that you need to note. So I'm using PVC pipe for this setup. And this is our storage, 2,200 liters. So this was what we used last, let me say the beginning of this year. So but this will be stressed. So the pepper project was not successful. And stress, land issue, and the like. So the, if you watch my previous video, you will see it here that I stated it then. So the project was not successful. And this is me here, my second farm, setting it up again. So we use uh, we sandbag cement uh, sacks like this. So this is where we took the sand from. We sandbag it and we use it to raise our storage in order to create this kind of, you know, straight flow. So we have free water in here because we try to pump water from our uh well, although we have borehole now, so it's also a great news. We have borehole now, so we pump water from our well, and that's our borehole there with another two uh, stories of each 1,000. I think it should be 1,000 or 500 liters each. No, it's 1,005, 1,005, making 3,000 liters. So we have it there, and we have 2,100 here. So now, looking at these old things now, we have few materials here that we're going to be using. We ought to have set this up since three days ago. But well, due to the fact that I misplaced my vice or wrench. Some people call it wrench, some people call it vice. So we could not work. Because this thing that you are looking at here is one of the most important tools that you need to have as a farm owner. So it's very good. Let's assume you have leakages or you want to change your pipe. This thing is very okay for it. So some of the materials we have is all the uh, this uh, PVC pipe, uh, seal tape. This is stress seal tape. So we normally use it to join two unions together to prevent water leakage. And also, we have this saw. It's for cutting pipes. So those are the tools we have here. And we have cutlass. So those are the tools that we have here. And we're going to be making good use of them today. So follow me. Stay tuned. And don't go anywhere as we'll be setting these old things up. If you look, we've already laid the pipe. So, and uh, this thing does not require you to have, it's not necessary you have plumber that will do it for you. But if you prefer, if you prefer your plumber, at least you have an idea of what you want to do. So we have our drip tape, but it's not here now. It's inside the farmhouse. So we'll be setting the drip tape up when we are done with the setting up of uh, these uh, pipes. So, now, with, I brought the, all this pipe from the pro, um, previous site to this one so that and it will be useful here and there won't be any uh, any casualties on this place because what I experienced at that previous site was the earthmen, the, the cow spoil most of my pipe but in here, there's nothing like cow coming into the farm so the whole place is fenced. Let's go. So a few of the uh, materials we also have here, we have our, this is how the drip tape looks like if you uh, seen it for the first time. This is how the drip tape looks like. We have our drip tape here. We have, let me bring it out. We have our drip tape here. We have joiner here. This is joiner to join two uh, drip tape together. So we have five. This one is five. Five. So like six. So if you want to. So we have switch here. Then what else do we have? We have end cap. Let me show you. We have end cap here. This will be at the end of the uh, drip tape. What else do we have in here? So I think that's all. That's all. So those are the things that we have in here. 
and uh, the first thing this is okay this is one of my guys trying to join those pipes together as you can see it's using the wrench to tighten the pipe so that uh it's using the wrench to tighten the pipe so that the whole thing will be in place and also when you are doing this make sure you put your storage on level well leveled place so normally it's supposed to be scaffolding for the storage but this particular thing also will hold it and if there's a need for us to raise it more higher than this then we we'll definitely do that make sure you have this thing in place switch this one will be able to switch to be able to uh you should be able to control your water from here let's assume you have an issue on the farm so we have our pipes here we have our pipes here it's been laid and the ridges has been made already so everything has always been in place also our pepper are doing well on the bed so they are doing well on the bed and very soon by the end of this week they shall be on the uh on the feet so we have the pipes everywhere so it's been laid so the the, the person that is asking me to make the ridges we still extend it towards the end of that place so but we have this one here at least this one will, anything we plant on this will also serve for a while so we'll make sure we get it done there because i plan to do ten thousand 10,000 stands of tomato. I don't know. I just plan it. So I don't know how it's going to be. So if there's a need for us to extend this thing more, then we definitely need to. But this is what we have on ground now. 10,000 uh, stands. That's what we are planning to do. And we are planning to do just 2,000 for uh, chili pepper with habanero pepper. So they will share the 2,000 between themselves. So this is how the whole setups look like. And... Uh, everything is looking good so if you are joining us for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel uh and like this video share it with your friend comment whatever you feel so he's trying to apply the thread the thread seal and that is the thread seal so uh that's mr Shergon. so it's very easy something you can do make sure you have pvc gum so PVC gum is also important and union. So if you, uh, let me take it close so that when you want to go and buy those materials, you will know what to request for. So normally, I prefer this met uh, this one compared to, uh, okay, I don't have it here. There's one joiner. Now, you only join it with, uh, you join that joiner with gum. So you don't, it's not thread like like this. It's just you put the pipe that is coming from this side in, then the one that is coming from the other side, you put it in. So those type, if you want to move, like for example, now what happened to me last the beginning of this year now, that I had to move this pipe from the previous side to this place. So if you use that type, you won't be able to move the pipe. That means you have to damage or uh, okay, this is the typical example of one. So this one that you're looking at, you see? So one pipe will enter from this side, you use gum to jump it, then this is another pipe. So it is cheap. Normally it is cheap. But if you use this type, <laughs> I assure you, you'll be wasting a lot of your pipes. So if you want to move your pipe from one location to another, but if you use that type that they normally use for borehole, that you can screw and not screw, definitely when it's time to move it, or maybe you want to use another place, you just unscrew it, take it to the place. Then, when you are done, if you want to unscrew it again, so don't forget that is a uh, so we are joining the pipes already, we are joining those pipes already, and this is how it looks. This is how it looks. So, we have our elbow here, so the elbow will be on top of this place. The elbow will be on top of this thing like this. So the elbow will be here and it will join to that place. So this is how to connect your uh, joiner. You see, we've connected this part to the storage. And if we should own it from that side, definitely water will flow throughout the whole setup. So this is how to connect the uh, the off taker this is the off taker and it has a pipe so let me do it for you 
is how to do it. There are two methods to do it. You know, some people used to use PVC. They used to use one iron to perforate the PVC. And I don't have that iron. So, and this place, sometimes when I have enough gum, I will apply gum here so that the thing will gum well to this, uh, but to the body. Now, this is how to do it. You, I'm using knife. I'm using knife. As you can see, there is no trick in this thing. You just have to. So, this is how to do it. Let me stand very well so you can see. This is how to do it. You make sure you rotate your knife clockwise. You rotate it where? Make sure. You don't press it anyhow. So, when you rotate it, and you make sure you rotate it. Don't, don't do it and stop. You have to rotate it too. So, you rotate it and make sure that the hole is round. And if you don't have this, if you can get maybe 12 mm iron, you know. So, if you can get 12 mm iron, okay, it remains small. Then, 12 mm iron also can work. But in absence of that, I. Okay, in absence of that, I'm using this method. So, so if you look at this thing very well, so you have to, this thing has to be like this. Because by the time you force it, it will enter. So, you can do it more, but just make sure that it is, it is round. Then I used to apply gum on this side, on the side of, but I don't have gum, so I want to improvise and you know make use of whatever you have. So I will be applying uh, oil. I'll be applying oil so that I will apply it inside, inside, and. There is no trick to this thing. It's something you can do. Uh, you know. uh, so this one has entered successfully. Now, mm -hmm. perfect. So this is very firm so this is firm if you own the water from that side if you own the water from this side definitely the water should be able to you know so this is it So the water is flowing, it's flowing, and the flow is good. So very simple something, you don't need, and this is your off taker, which is also switch or fab. Then you put your drip tape here, put it inside, push it inside, push it inside very well. So when you push it inside very well, then you screw this one to it. So if you own it, water will flow. You see, so I'm just using this as an example. So if you only water will flow inside and it will be sad like that. So thank you.